sur les vrais pères Yes, I, I wanted to one. No, no, this is not right. Go, and quickly, is it one o'clock yet? We had some time, but did you not tell Chagrin? I would be here at one. Yes, but... Then we don't want to disappoint him, do we? Do you know my brother? I'm also used, I've heard he is one of your band. And? They've arrested him. They... Oh, God, I would never have done this for Chauvin. Only he made it a condition of releasing my brother. Don't kill him! They don't kill him, they question him. But Chauvin told me... Then trust Chauvin. But this is not the first time you've done dirty work for Chauvin. <coughs> is it? No. He has forced my hand before. Please go, he'll be here any moment. How does he force your hand? Oh, he threatened to tell Percy, my husband, certain things about my past. Such but as? Dear, they seem so petty now. Tell me! In France, I, I lived as a free woman. You understand? I met Chopin the day we stormed the Bastille. He became my lover. It was brief. It was bad. But it happened. This spring, when Percy and I were about to be married, Chopin came to me. How would you like your husband to know what sort of woman you are? And would your husband have led you if he knew about your past? I was so afraid he would. But if he knew now, I doubt he'd care one way or the other. Go on. Chauvin promised silence if I found out who the English had given away the Marquis de Saint Cyr. But Chauvin lied. He promised not to kill Saint Cyr. He's no. killed so often now. He won't hesitate with Armand. Can you save my brother? If you cannot, well then, somehow I know clearly I'm beyond scruples. You would not be so foolish as to send him to France alone. Armand is my brother! Do you think I would let any harm come to that boy? Lady Blake, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will save Armand. Oh, if you can, yes! No! But leave now, please, before Chopin comes. Save yourself, dear sir. Go. <laughs> that decision is mine. But you must go now. Go and find your husband. You're wrong, you know. I believe the poor son loves you. So many nights I have stood in the moonlight, watching it fade into the dawn, wanting to come back with me all the moon. Knowing that moment was gone, out of mind, out of sight, to love us, to love us. All at once I felt a chill. In the still of the night, she was there, the whip of hell very still. There was something pulling me in the air when she whispered. I tried hard to hold my ground. I believe that I had a chance to the music of her voice turn my whole world around. I would like to understand the stars and I begin to blur. If she never touched my hand, and what filled me with the feel of time in between us for a while.